and it's learning how to um, have that just position of color next to each other so it vibrates. Again, art and music is very, very similar where things vibrate just based on its relationship. So, um, you know, oftentimes, you know, that's, that's kind of the key. Now, I am, I'm just going to block this in. This is going to be my, my underpainting of my, my green mountain pie of color. Um, I'm going to figure this out as I go. I do what's called direct painting. Direct painting is I'm, I'm directly painting it on this canvas. I'm not drawing it, I'm not sketching it, I'm not sitting down and doing thumbnails. Those are all things you can do, and it's good to do that and to train yourself. But um, direct painting is taking a brush and literally just starting to block in. And if I were cutting out sheets of construction paper and was getting charged $100 per sheet of construction paper, I would try to use as few shapes and colors as I could. So once I block this in, I'm really going to kind of see right now two shapes. I'm going to see this lower level and I'm going to see my upper level. So I, I'm not going to be charged a lot for my construction. So what are you wiping your brush with? Your I, I'm wiping, this is a mineral spirit. It's an odorless mineral spirit. <coughs> and I'm just, I always keep a paper towel in my hand. This little waste basket's right there. So I'm going to um, block in that lower level. And you can kind of see how the, the sky is more cool. You see those blues. Um, in a color spectrum, yellow is the, the first color to fall out of the, of the like the rainbow of the spectrum. Blue is kind of the last. So that, that mountain out there is, is, is blue because that, all of the yellows have fallen away from the atmosphere. In the, in the afternoon when the sun is hot, it's going to be you know, more more pinks and oranges because the sun has warmed up everything and it's fallen out so the color is going to be warmer. So the morning has got more of a, of, of a cool feel to it just because it's cool. So learning just simple, simple rules like that. And <coughs> some of the first plein air artists, uh, Monet, Chazenet, Renoir, they, they would all, they were all buddies like us. They would all, they'd all go out and paint. And they were breaking all the rules. Everybody was painting and showing in salon and doing everything so detailed. And they said, you know, enough of this. I'm tired of this. Let's go do something fun. They would pack up their paints and their easels and they would go out and they would paint the scenes of what they saw. Um, and during, you know, prior to that, they'd have to um, mix up paint, try to figure out how to, to get it out into the, the field. But, um, the introduction of the, the paint tube allowed them to 